G, on to this. The LAPD says that a shooting suspect opened fire on officers. Coco McAboy is live with the very latest from North Hollywood, where police have just wrapped up a news conference. Coco, what did, did you learn? Good morning. That's right. We do have an update for you following this press conference that just wrapped up here in North Hollywood. We know that two people are dead following this breaking news scene in North Hollywood that is continuing to impact traffic here on Victory Boulevard. Now, here's what we're told happened. This all started about 4.50 this morning. Officers responded to a report of an assault with a deadly weapon on Victory Boulevard. Officers tell us that when they arrived, a man armed with a gun then started pointing his gun at officers in their vehicle. That suspect then took off running on Bellingham and officers requested additional officers on the scene. We know that there's a large parking structure at St. Clair and Hamlin and we're told that officers then were able to encounter that man and there was another officer involved shooting at that time. We're told the suspect then retreated and then there was a third officer involved shooting. So there were three different shootouts between the suspect and officers here this morning. Now we know that the suspect is now dead inside of that parking structure off of St. Clair and Hamlin. And officers tell us that the firearm used in the shooting is near the suspect at this time. However, police say after those shootings, they then discovered a man parked in a vehicle behind some businesses off of Laurel Canyon, and he is also dead this morning. Now, police officers tell us that the belief is that the suspect who was involved in the shootout with LAPD officers shot and killed the man who was found dead inside of his vehicle near the businesses and then got into that shootout with officers. So this is all still under investigation. There are multiple streets closed near the Victory Boulevard area because of this. Police say they do not know the relationship or the motive between the suspect and the man who was found dead inside of his vehicle. But officers tell us that they do have shell casings that indicate that the suspect might have fired back at LAPD officers versus just pointing his gun at officers. So that's still under investigation as well. Officers are trying to determine that right now. But again, we know that the suspect is dead and we also know that the man who police believe the suspect shot who was found inside of his vehicle is also dead this morning. I'll send it back to you. Wow, a lot of information there. Uh, really appreciate the update. Coco, thank you.